What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It is, uh, it's time for me to do a video about football. It's been a while. I got on some NFL Fever 2004. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit here. These are modded rosters from, I think it was like 2015. So I don't need to hear anything in the comments about everything being so bad. I'm going to leave it on veteran because this game is really, really hard. And uh, we're going to go ahead and play. So what's this video about, right? This video is going to be about the, uh, I guess I wanted to do one because it's been a little while, like I said, and also because I really wanted to, I don't know, I really wanted to kind of just talk about the current situation. And I've been working on Legend Bowl for a long time. And then I also, you know, I also don't really get to do these videos that often anymore. So right now I'm on my OG Xbox. I'm probably going to do a couple of different games. This is probably going to be a long video. So it is what it is. Um, and then I'll probably throw in like... ESPN 2K4. I might even throw in APF. I don't know. So I may break this into parts. Probably not because I really don't feel like doing any editing. And I know I kind of sound like a jerk right now, but it's just just to save some time. There's Antonio Brown. But I wanted to do this video because, like I said, number one, I'm bored. I was looking at my old videos and I'm like, man, I haven't had a regular football video in a long time. It's been it's been forever, it's what seems like forever, you know? It is tails. So I figured it was time and I also miss doing them and I miss playing football games. And that's probably what it's probably what the problem is, you know, like so I'm gonna tell you a little story as I go through this. Now, I haven't played this game in a while. And for those of you guys who don't know about this game, um, I'm playing on the original Xbox, like I mentioned, and the difference with this is that it's kind of cool. If you hold the right trigger, you can kind of disguise, you know, what you're going to pick in case you're playing with somebody. So this game had a lot in it that I don't think a lot of people got to really experience. I know I didn't, you know, when I was doing it. So let's see. Am I going to be, I guess I'm the on the Steelers, that's fine. Um, a lot of people didn't play this game, including myself. I don't think I played this when it first came out. I think it was one of those games that, you know, and that's when, that's also because we had a lot of different, we had a lot of different games, you know, we had games for, from different companies. You know, you had your Madden, you had your ESPN 2K4, you had this game. Um, I'm sure you had like NFL Street. You had different games during this time that were available to us, you know? So you had a lot of different options back then. And, you know, what's what sucks about now, and this is why part of the reason why I'm doing the video is because, as you guys know, Madden 21 is out. And, you know, football's going well. Go Bills. Bills are 4 0. So we're doing surprisingly well. Josh Allen's playing lights out. The defense isn't playing so well. So we got to figure out a way to correct that. But, you know, we, uh, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good overall. I mean, I can't complain. So let's see. Um, but my son and I were watching football on Sunday, and he kept asking me to play Madden. Right? He wants to play Madden. Now, I haven't bought Madden 21 for him. And normally for the past, psh, I would say four, five, six years, I don't even know how long, maybe even longer than that. I've been, I've been buying Madden on and off, but I've been buying it for him. Because, you know, kids nowadays, it's all they know about. It's all they're aware of. They only know about Madden, right? They don't know about the other games. And when they do play the other games, they don't understand... At least the younger kids, probably, they don't understand that behind all the graphics and the music and all the cool things that you can do or see in the game, you, uh, ooh, I almost got that. You, um, you know, like you look at this game and on, and on the surface, it looks like it's pure, pure garbage. I mean, the graphics are really, really old. 
you know the game play it's fourth and ten so let's go with a punt return and you look at a game like this and you're like whoa wait a second why are you playing this game right oh i almost blocked that ball you gotta see that look at this kick all right let's go we gotta look at that again because i almost blocked that ball Let's take a look. That's exactly what you want from your punt so how do we rotate this thing over here? Hide this thing here. Woo! Ah, oh, that thing's fast. Hold on. It's got to be a slow-mo, I think. Yeah, there we go. Slow. So slow. I mean, even for its time, this, 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 I think this graphics look pretty good if you don't, if you're not too picky with the games, you know? But I was trying to make these raw. That was close. You almost got it. That kick was really wobbly, though. Um. So going back to the whole Madden thing, like, so he wanted to play Madden, and so I have last year's version because I bought it for him, and so I have Madden 20. This has Michael Vick. Really, where's Big Ben? I might just leave it with Vick. Um, see now you pick the receiver and see I forgot how to play you pick the receiver with the button right and there's different ways you can play this game you can play it with the old school setup or you can play it with the um, you know where you pick where you actually pick the receivers with the buttons or you can play it in the advanced mode which is like the sim mode where you basically like pick an icon to pick a receiver and you're just targeting him at that point so like you're looking at him and then you you move the left stick to like or the right stick i forget which it, which it was whoops you move the right stick i think to like move your cursor around so if you want to lead him i'll try to show you here so if you want to lead him which is this which is why this game is pretty cool if you want to lead him or do something like where you want to put the ball in a certain spot you can do that in this game so i'm going to target a i'm going to lead him deep I'm going to throw it high. And that could have easily been intercepted. But if you see, I don't know if it's going to show it here. Probably not going to show it. Yeah, it's not going to show it. Yeah, it's not showing it. But if you see, if you, if, even if we, if, we, if we take a look at it. Let's see if I can get back on the ball here. If we take a look at this again, even if you want to just like look at where I threw it. When I threw it, how do I go all the way back? All right, the buttons here. So if you see when I threw it, I threw it. I tried to th throw it pretty deep, but I threw it on the route. Or actually, I threw it on wherever I wanted to. And that's what's cool about this game. You can throw it where literally wherever you want to. You can throw it anywhere on the field. And if the guy's running to the right, like in this case, our dude was running to the right. You know, he was he was trying to like post out to the right. And then I threw it to the left and he actually had to like adjust and go and get that ball. You know? So, anyway, so then, so this game has some, some advanced features in it that I actually, that I actually like. I just don't remember the buttons right now. Oh man, that was going to be a bad kick. And, and the game is just kind of, you know, I'm not really great at it. And it's also pretty hard. But, um, so yeah, so yeah, so I know this video is probably already really boring for a lot of people. So whatever, it's just me talking. It's just me talking here. So I apologize. I'm not going to do anything fancy, but it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Like I said before, get this guy. Good job, boy. Get him. It's a great feeling when you get up after a tackle and you realize that So really what 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 happens is so so my son wanted to play Madden and I didn't want to play Madden at all. Like I, I never want to play Madden. Madden to me is just really, really bad. And but what sucks is that So what happened was I finally kinda of caved in. I went upstairs to my room. I turned on my Xbox uh three hundred sixty and I put APF. And I started just messing around with APF as he was like asking me and waiting for me. 
and I'm like, all right, fine, we'll put it in. So we finally put it in and I started playing it, you know, and at first, and at first you're like, okay, the graphics are pretty sick. The music's dope. You know, it's got cool hip hop, cool, you know, like newer modern music. Right. And then, you know, you, you, uh, you're, you're looking at it and you're like, well, wait a second, you know, maybe I can just give this game a chance. And I say that because I'll tell you why I say that in a second. So, so first of all, you see, you see nice graphics, right? First thing. Second thing is you, the sound is cool. You know, it's something fresh. You have the, the real teams with the real rosters on the next gen systems. I have an Xbox one X. It looks beautiful on my, on my machine. I mean, on my, on my TV, on my 4k TV. I mean, it looks really, really nice, right? Like it looks, looks awesome. And then you pop in an old game like this and you're like, man, this looks like trash, right? This looks just, this doesn't look good. You know, it just doesn't look good. Right. Not only that, but the bigger thing is you don't have the players. And the only way to get the players is to sit down and hack your way through trying to, ooh, see, I don't even know who he was throwing there, but that's an overthrow, errant throw. I don't know what that was. So basically going back to the Madden thing, like you, you end up saying to yourself, like, it's kind of cool. You can kind of blow up the play here too, so you can see it better. This game has a lot of like, a lot of options that you don't realize. So you basically get good as money. That was a nice kick. They needed to get um, something out of that drive. You basically get, you know, you get kind of a, like just enamored with all the cool stuff that you see. And basically, hold on, just one second. So you basically get all the, you know, all the cool things that you can see, you know, in those games. All the cool things that you see like in the in those games, right? So so when you first turn it on, you're like, "Oh man, this looks really good." You, know, you put this game on here. I have modded these rosters. So these rosters are really really old, right? They're from 2003, right? So I had to, you know, hack into the game and uh oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, he almost dropped that. I had to hack into the game and I had to, you know, find a way to, to create some rosters. And even in, 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 in that case, I didn't even get to create them all because there's like a limitation here, you know? So I had to, uh, see, that was a gun to the sideline, but he didn't catch it for some reason. But he had somebody on him. This game's really good, man. Like it's I love the passing. It's just a little bit like cumbersome because you don't really you know, it's hard to kind of pick up what's going on. But let me see. I'm gonna try to throw to Y here. Uh oh. God, man, you see, I get all messed up with the buttons. Oh man. I was trying to throw to to uh the guy in the black dot, man, see, and, and don't, don't bash the game because this, it's not the game. It's me. You know, the way I'm doing, it's hard, but well, I guess they have some passing or some stats here. Yeah. I don't want to see my stats. So it's second quarter. I thought it was almost halftime. I was like, what? Um, man, this, this story is taking a long time to get out. I, I get it. I get it. Oh God. Oh man. Yeah. I'm not good at, I'm not good at this game right now. I really need to, to take a little time to kind of, you know, get my bearings. Um, and I'm also trying to tell you guys a story, which is a little distracting. Plus I got my kid. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of there. Oh, I got to see that play again. Is that going to be a safety? Oof. Let's see this play again. Oh, it hit the back of his head. See? 
Even even Madden might not be able to do this, guys. You know? I mean, it hit the back of his head. That's pretty cool. I mean, I know I know it might seem like it's not cool to you guys, but to me it is. That kind of stuff is the stuff I like to see in games. Off the back of his head. And then he has to turn around and get it himself. Well, yeah, who got it? Somebody picked it up. I know my camera work is bad. Hold on. I just want to see who how they, how'd they get it. Yeah, that ball kind of worked, but whatever. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to claim this game is the best, but the point is that, you know, you turn on Madden and You turn on Madden and, and and the first thing is you you kind of like I said you, you you like the graphics you like all that stuff you you like the teams you like the rosters the fact that you don't have to do any work now if you want to make the rosters better because you don't like that you know the way they rate them or whatever that's another thing ooh that's almost an interception if you don't like the way that the players are rated or there's some issues with the rosters I mean you could do some tweaks you could do some changes and you can make it make it better but. But to actually, to actually like sit there and go through and make an entire roster, you know, good job to make an entire roster and from scratch and not only from scratch, but to have to sit there and like research every player and have to, you know, get the way they look and get all of their bio information and everything. Ooh, great pickup right there. Great pickup. That's a great stand, dude. Great stand. Um, you know, to go through all that work, and that work is so daunting, man. And I've done, like, I've never really created a full roster, I don't think, because it just takes so long and so much work, and I just don't have the time. You know, if I didn't have anything else going on, and I wanted to spend two months making a... And it would take me, like, two months, at least, working hard to get that done. It's like by the time you're done, you're like, what did I do all this for? Because it's just a lot of work, you know? And and that's the part where when you turn on Matt and you're like, well, wait a second. I don't have to really do any work. It's right there for me. And I can just basically start playing the game. And I think that's probably why some people just get mad and don't worry about it because... Yeah, there are a lot of people that are modding. I mean, APF, the APF Discord is blowing up. I mean, there are people coming in left and right, people who want to play a better game, who are sick and tired of the... Look at this run. That's a nice run. Without me even knowing what the buttons are, that's a nice run. The guy just took off in the hole, and he got a, he got a nice run. And, you know, that's what... So look for the weakness. Against a two deep zone, it's that's what middle, people, so you know, people want. They just, you know, pe people are out there modding and doing stuff. You know, there are people that are modding, you know, rosters and they want a better experience. Acceleration is one of his strengths as a defender. And, and they, uh, they want to be able to Sorry, I can't, I can barely even like do this. I have people talking behind my back, but it's all right. See, that's going to be an interception. Oh, see that AI is trash. He should turn around and he should be able to like grab that ball. That's the thing too. It's like you, you can't, no game is perfect, right? Number one. And I know I'm all over the place with this video. I'm just kind of rambling here. Um... But in the end, like going back to the modern rosters, like people are out there doing it. My point was that it's not like people aren't doing it. I'm doing it at times. You know, there are plenty of people. See, that takes work, man. It takes work to sit there in the pocket. You have to, you have to know where you're going with the ball. And that's what makes this game harder, man. You have to really know. Fourth and 12. I got to punt it. You know, that's, you got to really know where you're going with the ball in this game. Um... This guy's gonna catch it again. That ball kicks so weird. Loose ball. Um, people are modding rosters. My point is that people are doing it. And believe me, 
I made the editor. I made multiple. I made an editor for this. I made an editor for 2K4. I made one for Backbreaker, and I made my best one multiple times, a couple times for all pro football, right? So I'm not saying modding is bad. I'm just saying modding is hard. And it takes a lot of your work, a lot, a lot of your sweat, you know, to do it the right way. Now, there are people out there that will be like, oh, yeah, there's a, there, there are rosters out. You can go get rosters. No, there, yeah, there are rosters out, but 99% of them are just low-quality, buggy trash. Even 2K5. There are rosters out for 2K5 on the OS forums, right? But they're buggy. They freeze. They're not quality. They're not like, they're not just as good as they used. People used to do them because people don't do them as much anymore. People don't take the effort and the time to do them. So you end up with a, with a buggy, low quality, uh, error prone, like bad game. Like you just don't, it's just not good. So then I say to myself, the only way that I'm going to be happy, that's a pretty cool camera angle. The only way that I'm going to be happy is if I do it myself, somebody grab that. If I do it myself. So then I start working on my rosters, right? I start going with the bills because that's my team. So that's the first one I do. And you know, after a couple of months of doing it, if you even have the, the endurance to do it for that long, the teams have changed. Like teams are getting better, teams are getting worse. You know, that's why I like what 2K Football Now did because he made the 1993 roster. And when you make it his, a historic roster, the, the season's already done. It's already frozen in place. You know what the players were. Yeah, there were some trades. There were some things that happened. But you can pick your, you know, your the, the, the best set of players that you think makes sense. And then you can pick, you know, you can rate each player based on the way they actually played for the season. So you're looking at them as a postseason, you know, thing versus a preseason thing. Like the way Madden works in every other game, including this one. They made these rosters based on the previous year because the current year obviously didn't happen yet, right? So when you go back and you make a historic team, you're doing it kind of backwards. So the so the so the quality of the roster is so much better because you're predicting the future without, you know, having to, you know, worry about predicting the future, right? You're already doing it. So you know how well these guys play. Let's see if I can get some good things going here. God, see, that was a good pass, but I let him too much. And that's what's cool about this game, man. You can do that. And I'm going to see that again because I just want to see how cool that was. So I I ran really far back because I don't know. I'm still in, I'm just used to doing that. The way he throws the ball is crazy. Look at that throw. He looks like a weirdo doing that. But that might be the way Michael Vick tries to throw the ball. Look how crazy that looks. That's kind of cool, though, I have to admit. The way it comes off his hand is a little wonky. But that was cool anyways. So I let him so far, man. Like, if you look at this. But it's cool because I can do that. If you look at where I threw the ball. I threw it right now. And now it's like, wait a second. This guy needs to go really far. But look how far I let him. And the defender can't get to the ball. You know? You just can't get to it. I've let him far enough. There's no warping. No crazy stuff happening. He tries to reach out. And he doesn't get it. So going back to the rosters, right? So you can sit there and you can make your roster. And that's what I end up wanting to do. I want to make my own roster. Now, somebody like 2K Football now, he's got a 1993 roster. And I'm going to have to probably start playing that again because I want to play games, man. And that's my point. It's like, come on. God dang, reward me, man. Reward me for getting it off. It's just, this game's tough. I'm going shotgun again. I don't care. Um... So the cool thing about this game is this game is challenging. This game is a lot harder than it looks on the surface. I'm going to try to throw it to Brown here, see if I can get it to him. Kind of crazy because the camera angle, the camera was all like crazy looking. Let's see how that works. The camera kind of like went towards the ball. I think I'm going to put the camera on custom as soon as I can get out of this view here. Because I had it on. Let's leave it on custom. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that's it. You just have camera views, I guess. But let's punt it again. So here's my point. 
So you can sit there and you can obviously create your own roster. I'm going to kill this guy. Yeah, I'm going to get penalized. I don't care. You can create your own roster. Well, I, I want to create my own roster because I want quality players. I go through every player. I look at every face. I look at their tape. I get all their bio stuff correct. I get their colleges correct. I mean, I do all of that good stuff. Now, what I would normally do it for is for all, for all pro football because it's the latest game. It's got the best graphics. It's got the best game play, in my opinion. It just doesn't have the logos. It has limited teams. So you kind of like, you know, you're kind of just a prisoner to that part of it, right? You got to you gotta kind of like, and that's the thing with the old games. You got to, you got to always, um, you have to try to, there, there are going to be parts of every old game that you have to kind of just ignore or just like not really focus on. Because if you do that, then you're not going to be happy. Because if I sit there and I focus on the fact that all pro football doesn't have a real franchise mode, right? Even though I created a, fran a basic franchise in the all pro football editor, which really it collects stats that you can see year over year, which is cool, but it's not, you know, it's not a full franchise experience. Oh, let's go. Let's go. It's not a full franchise experience. This guy can't catch me. Come on. It's not a full franchise experience, right? Wilson, you got to know where you're throwing it, buddy. So you don't have a real franchise, an APF. You don't have the logos. As much as they look close and the uniforms look really good, I mean, you can get it like, I'd say like 90% there, 85% there. It's still not the real thing. You don't have the real stadiums. You don't have the real coaches. You don't have the real, I mean, you could put the coaches' names, but you know, even their, the faces aren't perfect. I mean, nothing's perfect about it. The, the, even the graphics are back from 07, right? Think about that. There's a, there there's just so, there are so many different things that you have to kind of like concede and say okay you know what all right well I can't it can't be perfect right I mean those are like my best throws and they're short little throws and I'm trying to throw it every time I know you guys are probably like oh why are you throwing it every time I am because I'm just practicing so where was I going with this so this is another cool thing I'm going to show you in this game if you hold the X button down. You're going to have the guy go in motion. See? That's pretty cool. So he goes into motion. And you can choose to do that or not. I tried to run with him. I held the right stick. Or the right trigger. But that's not the right thing. Um, so the point is that when you're playing the old games, you have to just look past certain things. You know, you have to kind of say, okay, well... You know, it's not perfect. And we all want a perfect game. Everybody wants a perfect game. I'm the first one there who wants something that's that's going to be... Oh, great move. Give me that first down, though. Thank you. So we all want a perfect game, but we don't have one. We all want a next-gen game, but we don't have one. We got to deal with Madden. And Madden is very buggy, and that's the thing. So so going back to Madden, on at the first taste of it, you're like, man, maybe I can just get it. And I can just, oh, second quarter, I didn't even pay attention. Halftime. Maybe I can just get it and I can just try to, the, the same way that I look past the old games issues, I can look past the new games issues, right? And I don't got to worry about doing all that work. I can pay 60 bucks. I don't care about the 60 bucks. And I'm not rich. I don't even have a job. I'm working on this game, right? And I'll pay the 60 bucks. I'll find a way to get the 60 bucks because to me, that time is worth my money, you know? And then I say, you know, I'll do that. I'll get the rosters for free. I'll get everything, the real teams. I'll get the latest graphics. But but what but what really, really bothers me so badly is that after a few minutes of playing that game, I don't know, man. It just, it just to me, it's just absolutely horrible. And I don't know, like, I'm playing this, and this game's not perfect. You know, this game's not better than 2K, in my opinion. You know, there's things about this game that are cool, but... That's behind. That's behind. He's going to take that. Oof. See, I should get penalized for that pass. I'm throwing like an idiot. This game is not as good as APF. There's no game as good as APF, in my opinion. But I can play this game, and it, there's things about it that feel cool. Madden doesn't feel that way. Madden feels so scripted and so just so bad, you know? See, that's a good throw. Let's go, Bell. Let's go, Bell. That's a good throw. So you got to work your way to get good throws. 
Um, I'm going to try to do some running because I'm not going to score if I don't try to put a run in. I love these plays where you put them in motion. I might end up playing a full game at this point because and we're already at 30 minutes. So this is a long video. It's going to be a long video. I don't know what that was. I didn't do anything there. But Vic got away from this guy. Look at him on his own. That was a cool move. I don't know. You just, the older games, man, you just see cool things in them. And I'm going to do a few videos. I'm probably going to play a few games at some point. Because I want to do some more videos. But you see cool things like this. When do you ever see that kind of a move in a Madden game? Just, just tell me. When it looks that clean. I mean, the blocker got beat. He's got to deal with it. The guy goes to tackle me, goes right over me. Michael Vick says, no, nah, you ain't getting me. And now I still got to deal with throwing it crazy. So I threw it. And it was a bad throw. And that was a great defensive play. But you see cool things in games like this. And I don't, I just don't think you see those in Madden. You just, I just, I don't, I don't think I see, I don't, I don't see them. I played a, I played a, a half with my son. I couldn't play more than a half without being disgusted. Um... But it just sucks because even even when you want to, God, man, I, I need to know how to run because I don't know how. Let's see. I got to I got to look at the help because I don't even know how to run in this game. Third and 15. Let's see. Controllers. Help. No. Um, Where are the. Controls in this game. User options. All right, controller configuration. So, quarterback, look to receiver A, B, whatever, blah, blah. Jump, make them runner. So, you have to push the white button. Broken route, so you probably throw it away. Throw pass. Aim pass. See, so you throw with the right trigger, guys. So, when you're the ball carrier, you spin with B, dive with X. It's typical moves that I would normally do lateral juke left and then hurdle up left and right is showboat okay that's cool and then defense sprint dive nearest dive from pass switch to defend nearest defender okay so you can do strafing knock down pass not assigned okay so I got it down if I can remember. So you go, so, so the point of this, the point of this conversation is about the feelings that you, the emotions that you go through when you turn a game like Madden on, you know, you, you, you start, you start going through like all these different emotions. One of them starts with, Hey, this might be a relief. I can actually play a football game. I'm throwing it a double coverage here, guys. That was me being stupid. I, I moved and the guy just took off. He did some weird, weird move. I'm just going to punt it. I mean, the score is still pretty low. Eh, nah, not the best punt. That was a good catch. So you go through a list of emotions, you know, and... And you really, really, really badly, you want to give Madden a chance because you want to be able to say that you don't have to do all this work, you know? You don't want to do all this work. Ah, that was my bad. Took him out of position. You don't want to do all that all that modding work. You don't want to have to worry about making a full roster. And it just takes forever. And and believe me, I wish there's a huge community that's working on APS stuff, but like I said, the majority of them are just not they're not making quality rosters. They don't put the time in. They don't want to learn how to use the editor the right way. And the, the rosters turn out to be hot garbage, you know, in my opinion. So I don't really have a lot to go off of there. There's a 1993 one that he did that that 2K Football now did, which is probably one of the better ones. But like I say, I, I want to play the current teams. You know, I want to play with the current players. The same thing that we've been dealing with for over a decade, man. It's been how many years? It's been 12 years that we've been dealing with this garbage. And it's been over that because all pro football 
is the game I'm talking about. And all pro football was the last game that came I mean, backbreaker came out after that. But other than that, we haven't had any legitimate options to play. And there's games like access and max football. And to be honest with you, I would never, I just don't play those games. They're, those games are just so inferior to anything. This game blows those games out of the water, in my opinion. You know, and yeah, I'm making a game and yeah, it's a pixel game and people might say, oh, well, your game's old. Well, that's fine, but I'm also trying to make something different. I'm trying to make something that's not a Madden, you know, competitor. And, you know, it's it's something that's kind of fresh. I've never really had a football game that used pixel art that you can customize like this, like the game I'm making. You know, and then today with today's technology mixed with the old technology, like it's to me, it's new enough and fresh enough for me to take a stab at it. But I'm still an indie game developer. I'm still only going to have so much time and effort and, you know, and resources to make it to make it as the best I can make it. And, you know, to me, it's not Madden. It's not a 3D game, so I'm not worried about it. But the point is that I won't play those other games. I just won't. They just they just don't interest me at all any of those games that are out and what sucks is that i really want to like i really would love to be able to say okay just play madden play through a season you know just try to enjoy it try to make the most of it try to learn how to play it better that's a hit and i just man i just i just play it for a little bit and i'm just disgusted by it you know and that's why i'm putting this on right now because i just want to have something different that i can play and but then you're stuck because you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because on one side, I was a big hit, boy. Big hit. On one side, you're like, okay, Madden's trash. But the graphics are good. The audio is really, really cool. The music's cool, right? You have some fresh tunes, you know? The gameplay, you don't got to worry about, like, rosters like i say you don't got to worry about making up your own teams you have a franchise mode as limited and as raw and ratty as it is you know you have the current season everything's there i kind of miss i kind of miss the days i can't believe it's 6-0 i've played so badly <laughs> and these guys are only up 6-0 now this is gonna bite me because they're gonna get this yeah he's got it um Extending that lead beyond so, points changes everything. The drive covered 46 yards and took 10 plays. So you don't, you know, you, you just don't know what to do. And that's the problem. It's like, I know if I want to play a quality game, I'm going to play all pro football. I'm going to play 2K5. And that's what I was going to say. Back in the day, people used to make really, really like solid 2K5 rosters. You know, they used to actually put the time in. One of the guys on the forums, he made a 2K4 roster. That was really, really good. I was playing that for a little bit. Now, those games get old. They, they do. They get old. You know, I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. You got to catch that. So you can pick the receiver and you can throw it to him. But if you're on the run, like I was, and you also don't move around the stick at all, you, good luck getting a pass off because it's just not gonna just not going to work. And we can see that again. I know we can't. I really want to go to Wheaton here. In the pocket. Scrambles, tosses it. Good catch. That's Brown. Good catch. This pattern here is all about timing. The receiver goes out and the ball has got to be there on time. Um So those rosters were better, but people just aren't putting in the work. They're not putting in the right work. I might have to go throw to Coates or throw to B. I'm going Coates. Oh no, God! See, I'm not leading him enough. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that play again. See if they. See if they. They change their defense. They do. I'm gonna try to go to Bell here. Or I might try to run it myself. If they don't come after me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So sometimes you just need to pick the pick the receiver and just throw it to him because to do that to try to lead him or to try to get a, a more precise throw is just really difficult to do really difficult to do uh, i'm gonna go to try to go to bell again drops uh, back i was i'm trying to press the right trigger to run fast but that's the 
That's not Turbo Havo. That's just me juking. So this is the this is the point. Let's get to the point. The point is that Madden is just very very difficult to. Oh God, I'm sitting there pressing B, and I'm like, why isn't he throwing? And I gotta throw the trigger, man. See, it just takes time. But that's what's cool too is like when you had different games back in the day, you'd have to learn each game. You know, you're gonna have to learn Legend Bowl if you want to get Legend Bowl and play. It takes some learning to play that game. It's not gonna be just plug and play. You know. I don't know how he caught that. I got lucky, but that happens. You throw behind their back. Sometimes they catch it. Um, so I don't know what to do because at the end of the day, it's like, I wish people were making better rosters. You know, I wish because I, cause I would still, even though people might say, oh, well, just pick a Madden. You know, just play Madden. Well, that's fine if you want to play a game that just frustrates the hell out of you go ahead and from what i'm hearing the new madden is even worse which i don't get how it can get worse how is the game getting worse i just don't get it it should be getting better every single year and if not then there's a problem i'm throwing guns like like just inaccurate guns <laughs> anyways supposedly the game's worse but this is what's crazy is that Madden has everybody, anybody making a good football game has us at their fingertips. They have people that want to play a decent game, don't want to mod rosters, don't want to deal. Close the door. Close the door. Don't want to deal with. Fine, close my door. Don't want to deal with making their own rosters. Don't want to deal with horrible gameplay. You know, they just don't want to deal with... Hey, I tried to lead him, man. Alright, what am I going to do here? You've heard of a clutch catch? Well, that was a clutch drop. The defense loved that play. Let's try this play here. This one. So, you know, you don't know what to do because it's like, you want, do you want to play Madden with those newer rosters and deal with the... the I don't know, man. I just don't know. It's so frustrating. But what I really would want is obviously a new game, first and foremost. Oh, that, let's go. Let's go. See, that's why this game, this game does it like no other game. I'll be honest with you. No other game. And I'm going to show you guys this right now. Anybody who's still around the video, I know it's a long video, but if you're here, glad you're here because watch this. Because you can't do this in any other game. You can't even do this in APF. You just can't do this. So look at, look at who I'm throwing to, and that's Bell, I think, right? Who was that? Yeah, that's Le'Veon Bell, right? So, look at him, right? He is. If you look at, if you look at where he is, he's all by himself in the middle, right? Now they're playing a zone, right? So I know that right now, as soon as the safety takes the other receiver there out there, and then let me let me just take the. Is there a quick way for me to do this? So as soon as the as soon as the the safety picks up whoever that is, that's probably uh, Antonio or Antoine, Antonio Brown. So I don't know who that is. Anyways, as soon as he picks him up, I can't see with these graphics. As soon as he picks him up, I don't know if it's fourteen or eighty four. That's fourteen. As soon as he picks him up. I know at that point that I got a guy that's going to be open because look, there's nobody around him. I can throw all in this space right here, right? But what game can you do that in? What game can you actually do that in? Where you can sit there and say to yourself, okay, I got to play here. The guy picked him up over there. He's going to be open. So throw to the right. Now, I planted my feet at least. That was good. Throw to the right. Get a good throw and look where he's at. And the other safety is not even looking at him. How many games can you open up space like that? You guys tell me. You guys tell me. How many play? How many games can you do this? You can't. There's not a game that I know of that you can do this. And that's the and that's the the reward. Like the good and the bad thing about this kind of throwing mechanic is that you can do stuff like this. That's the good. 
The bad is that it's really, really hard to pass in this game. But I'm sure the more you play it, the better it gets. And I got rewarded for that play. And I feel good about it. And that's just going to give me garbage, you know? Drops. Fires it downfield. Even there, I put it where nobody can hopefully nice get to it. That you know, that's another thing. You can put it in a spot, just like in real life, when Josh Allen's in the pocket and he's growing, he's getting more mature, you can put it in a spot where only, where only he can, where only your receiver can get to it, or it's going to be an incomplete pass. It takes a good quarterback to learn how to do that. You know, I'm going to put it in this spot right here. Oh, that rush came in fast. Um, it takes a, it takes a really good quarterback to figure that out. Comebacks. Oh, but this, the problem with this game is that there's so much going on and you have so, the problem with this mechanic, let's put it that way. Yeah, there's so much going on and you only have so much time. I just don't feel like even though the controls are decent, I don't feel like the controls are easy enough to sit there and look at that. The controls aren't easy enough for me to sit there and that's it. They're not easy enough for me to sit there and try to figure out who I'm going to throw. I don't have enough time, and I'm just not good at it. Once you get good at it, you could probably get faster and better. So, they're going to run it for sure. Boom, break that up. So, what's the conclusion? I don't know. I feel like we're stuck. I feel like we're stuck with... With either you never play a game, which is so frustrating. I mean, my, my team is doing great this year, knock on wood. They're doing great, and I don't even have a game to play. Okay, so fine. So go play APF, fine. But what do I have to play? I have a 1993 roster. I don't want to play a 1993 roster. I mean, it's fun. It's cool. I give, I give 2K Football now mad props for what he did. Mad props. But I'm not, I'm not interested in 1993. I'm interested in 2020. So now, okay. So what do I do? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and make rosters. I don't have time to make the rosters. Okay, I can make my team. Okay, I can make my team. Maybe I can make my team and I can play against the 1993 roster. I can import my team into there. I can do that. That's an option. Wouldn't be a horrible option. It'd be the current team versus the best of the best, or 1993. I think those I think those rosters are, are even like better players than 1993. I don't know. The Seahawks have come out on Anyways, the end of the game. I played a full game. This is a long video, a 47 minute video. I talked through the whole thing, so hopefully you guys or I rambled through it. Hopefully you guys got some entertainment out of it. I'm glad I got to do a video. Upper deck. That's so cool. Upper deck, man. That's really awesome. You can see, like, this is just cool. I just like seeing the name Upper Deck which is a whole nother thing about indies. We don't have that. We don't have those, those cool uh, brand names, you know? Um, you see, all I did the whole game was run back. <laughs> I look like an idiot out there because I don't know how to play the game. But this game's awesome, man. If I had current rosters in this game, I would totally try to learn how to play it because I want options. I want different games, right? And... You know, maybe I'll play a little bit of Madden 20 so you guys can see how trash the game was. And supposedly it's better than 21. I don't know. So let's look at my stats because my stats were not good. I mean, his stats weren't good either. So I had a 26% completion rating. So, you know, obviously I'm not good with the sticks in this game. And that's it. So I'm going to catch you guys in another video. I'll do more. Thanks for watching if you stayed this long, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.